Like, I certainly didn't see the pandemic coming. Right. So, like... But it's uncomfortable to you to feel like something's coming and you don't know what it is and you yeah, don't understand it. That and, it feels might, like, and it might crash you into the that, roof. That's definitely like a six days out from an election and a media has been already f completely flipped over and it's about to get flipped over again by, you know, autonomous agents who can create on their own. I'm going to tell you what I actually think, which is that some of this is about worrying about generative AI. And some of this is about grappling for the first time with your mortality, with the fact that you are going to have a different, that you're going to have a different level of health anxiety in the future. You're trying to view through the lens of the universal something that is intensely personal. I mostly imagine myself through how I'm imagining other people are seeing me. To see ourselves as others see us, as Joyce put it. Yeah, that's mostly how I see myself. Oh, and interesting. I feel like a lot of people see me, whether they're people who I actually know, people who work for one of the companies, people who are on the internet, yeah. uh, on Twitter, on TikTok. And I've gotten a little bit better at this, just realizing that I I don't know whether I'm a good person without that validation, like that feedback from Really? Me. Yeah. Oh, interesting. That's not good mm -hmm. because that is always fickle. And when that goes, like if you have a Tumblr 2013 incident, you're going to be left pretty hollow. Yeah. Whereas if you can build it from within, you can say, okay, my core relationships are okay. The people who know me and love me the best still know me and love me the best. And I'm okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to continue to try to do good in the world, not so that it will be observed, but because it's fulfilling and it allows me to make connections to people and, and, and there's value in the work itself.